My name is Sarah Lawrenson. I'm a smart exemplary educator and language arts teacher at Matamidi High School in Matamidi, Minnesota. Today I'll be demonstrating two things about dual page view. First of all, I'll show you how to use dual page view. And second, I'll show you how one might choose to use dual page view in a language arts lesson. First of all, dual page view is a button that you'll find in the top toolbar on Smart Notebook. And the button for dual page view looks like this. It's a blue screen with two pages shown on it. So to click into dual page view, you go to one page, and then when you hit the dual page view button, it will show you two pages together, the page you're currently on and the page previous in your notebook lesson. So for example, if I'm on page two of my, dual, of my lesson, when I hit dual page view, it will show me pages one and two. So I hit the button, and both pages are shown on the screen now. When I hit the button again, it goes back to the page I was on previously, which was page two. Now, in the context of a language arts lesson, one might choose to use dual page view when you're showing two different paragraphs or two different drafts of the same piece. So for example, if I had one paragraph about a topic and then a second paragraph, I could show them side by side and have my students compare them together. Or I could show two drafts of the same writing and have my students compare them again. So for example, if I'm on example number two, I just hit dual page view, and now I can see example one and example two together, and I can have my students write on the page and highlight things or underline things that may be congruent to one another in the lesson. Also, I can use dual page view in a lesson where I'm presenting some problems about a certain issue. So in these sample set, the students are looking for split infinitives in these sentences. So on the previous page, I have information about what a split infinitive is. So I might use dual page view to keep the previous page up as a reminder while they're working on the problems. Also, I can use dual page view here because this page has the sentences and then the next page in the lesson shows the answers. So here I could have the problems on one page, the answers on the next page, and when students finish, I can have them come up on the board, write their answers, and then I can turn on dual page view so we can compare the wrong sentence with the revision. So there it is, dual page view, and how one might choose to use it in the context of a language arts lesson.